Hi everybody, it's Beth from Artbase here and today I'm going to show you how to draw this rather cute chameleon. So we're going to be concentrating on just using a pencil, um, our sketching skills and also shading with light and dark tones to create a 3D shape, okay? So if you've got everything ready, we'll make a start. So I'm going to zoom you in just make you a little bit closer so it's easy for you to see and you just need your paper landscape today so I'm going to move mine out of the way I'll just pop them over here for a minute okay and we'll start off by just sketching the basic shape of our chameleon. So when we're doing this, everybody, just very, very light sketches um, with your pencil, don't press hard and try not to do a continuous line. So take your pencil off the paper as we go along and that way it will just help you to sketch out your shape. And if you go wrong, then that's fine because we've only been going lightly and it's much easier for us to rub out. So we'll start on our chameleon's nose, I think. So we're over to the left side of our paper a little bit um, and about halfway up, okay? So we're going to start with his nose. I'm going to press quite hard so that you can see, but I want you guys to just press nice and lightly. So we're going to take our line up a little bit and then over. So we're sketching him out and quite flat at the top, just so it's almost in a straight line now, quite flat. And then we're going to start curving him round and down a little bit. So to about there, okay? So we're taking him much lower than the nose. So it goes up over, across and then round and down okay and then it starts to come back in just a little bit just here and this is going to be the tail but we'll do that in a minute we'll carry on with the tail shortly what we'll do first of all is just the bottom of our chameleon so we've got his little nose here and i want us to bring a line that comes down now and again it curves round so it curves around to sort of match the top a little bit and then it's sloping down, it's quite a straight line, but it's sloping down. And then we're going to leave a gap. So it comes down towards this line here, can you see? But we'll leave a big gap because we want to leave space to draw our tail. So now we've got this gap, what I'm going to do, we'll draw one side of the tail first. I'm going to start with this edge. First of all, and I will just want to do a line comes down nearly to the bottom of your paper and then it curves around and leave a big, quite, it's quite a big curve. You can see we're going nearly halfway along our chameleon, aren't we? And then it's going to curve up and it's going to come quite high up. Can you see? So it's not just a little curve, it's coming quite high up. It's not quite touching our the bottom of the chameleon but nearly and then we're curving it round and then like round like that okay and then we need to do the other side so what I'm going to do we're going to come back now so I'm going to do a little line and then we're going to come back so we're going to follow that curve back around and as we get closer to our chameleon it gets a little bit wider and then eventually it joins up with the other side okay that that's probably the trickiest part of our drawing that curly spirally tail all right so we've got our basic shape of our lovely chameleon he's going to, we're going to sit him on a branch so just a little gap underneath his body and i want us to do a line that comes all the way up and it can go a bit wibbly wobbly it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line to the edge of the paper and we lift our pencil off and we do it up the other side and then it goes 
all the way down to the edge of the paper. And you can see mine isn't perfectly straight, it goes up and down a little bit. And then we want a little gap, and then we're going to do another line that comes all the way down. And then if it hits our chameleon, we need to lift our pencil off and then put it back down the other side. Lift our pencil off, back down, lift our pencil and then back down. Okay, so we've got our branch that our chameleon is sitting on. We can do another little offshoot if we want from it. So we could do another one that comes out. So you can choose if you want to do that or not. And then you can always rub that line out just there. So we've got a little branch that he's sat on. Okay. So we've got his basic shape. Let's pop his, um, actually, let's do his eye first of all, because that will help us position everything else. So we're going to do, he's got a big eye so we can look around for food. So we're going to do a really big eye. It's about um, a little gap up from his nose and then night and I, I'm taking my circle outside you can see it's going over the top of the head and a big circle all the way around so nice big circle mine's about the size of a small grape or a chocolate button okay and then I'm going to rub out that line which was the top of his head and then we're going to do a little circle just in the middle. Okay, so we've got our eye in now. And then his mouth, what I want to do, we've got this line that comes down from the top. And when we get to the points of our nose, I want to bring it in and we're going to do a little line that comes, curves round and it comes as far as the edge of the nose. So it comes in quite a bit. And then we can just do the top of his mouth just there. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little line. So we'll just leave a little gap at the edge of the mouth and the eye. And I want to draw a little line that goes from the top and it, we, I want to cut, see if you can curve this line just a little bit because that helps our chameleon to look more rounded than to be flat on the page. So we're just curving that line round a little bit. And then we, let's pop his legs in next. So we, now we've got this line in here, we can leave a little gap. And then all I'm going to do, is about a centimeter up from the bottom of his body there. So I've got this little dot here. I'm going to do a line that goes across and then down. Okay, so we're keeping it really simple. So across and down, I'm going to leave a little gap and do the same above it, across and down. And then again, if you wanted to just rub out the bottom, that line, which was the bottom of his body in the branch, you can. And we'll keep his feet really simple. I'm just doing like a little upside down V, okay? And we'll do the same for his back leg as well. So really, really simple. So about a centimeter up from the bottom of his body and then down and then the same above it, down, and then a little upside down V. And again, we can rub out those lines just there. Okay. And then we can't see the bottom of his body. So we've got a lovely basic shape of our chameleon. So we'll add some little details and some shading on him now. Um, chameleons come in all different colours and patterns, so you can do pretty much whatever you want. I'm going to make mine stripey today, and I'm going to use the stripes to try and help round him off a little bit as well. So we're going to start at the top, and I'm going to do a line that comes down, and again it's curving around just slightly. I'm not doing it over the top of the leg. So it curves around slightly. When I get to the leg, I just lift my pencil off and then put it back down the other side. So one stripe and then we'll do another stripe. You can do as many or as few as you want. Then leave a little gap and we'll do another stripe. And then we'll take them around the tail. So I'm going to, again, 
keeping them slightly curved as we go around. So leave a little gap, another stripe. And we're following the tail now. So my stripes are following the shape of the tail. And as we get closer to the end, I might do them a little bit narrower, a bit smaller. Okay, so we've got a lovely stripey chameleon. Um, you might want to do circles or make your stripes smaller or fatter, whichever you want. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And then we'll just pop a little more detail on his back. So I'm going to just do a zigzaggy line that just on the top of his back. And we're just going to follow it all the way around his body and maybe take it to the top of his tail. You can take it all the way down if you want to, but I think we'll just, I'll just do that little bit today. So you can choose again. So we've got our lovely um, shape and we've drawn in our pattern. So now we need to do a little bit of shading and maybe a bit of pattern work just to add a few more details and try and make our comedian look a bit more rounded, a bit more 3D. So first of all, we'll start on his mouth just here. I'm just going to pop a little rectangle just there, just like so his nose. I'm shading that and I'm pressing quite hard to make that quite dark. And then his eye, I'm going to colour in that middle circle and leave a little white spot. So pressing really, really hard, but leave your little white spot so you've got a nice highlight in that eye. And then I'm going to work around and really outline and press hard to make that eye pop out. Okay, and again with his mouth, we're going to work over that line and really make it stand out a bit more by shading and colouring that in a bit. And then I want to just, with my pencil now, start doing a little bit of shading. So I'm just colouring it in quite lightly. I'm not pressing too hard. And you can do a bit of crisscrossing with your pencil. And we just want to put a little bit of shading just under his mouth. So just colouring it in under his mouth all the way to the edge here. And then I'm going to get my finger and I'm going to smudge my pencil and smudge it all the way. So it sort of blends in a little bit with the rest of his face, that the bit that we've just shaded. So smudge that bottom bit there. And then we're going to do that all the way along the bottom of our body. So just slightly, we're not pressing hard, we're not making it too dark. So I'm just crisscrossing, doing a little bit of shading all the way along the bottom of my chameleon tummy. Because this bit here is quite hidden, it's quite dark, hasn't got a lot of sunshine on it. So just along the bottom and maybe along the edge of the tail, just a little bit around here. And then again with our smudging finger, just get your finger and just give it a little smudge, smudge it up into the middle of his body, just like that. Okay. So just smudge, smudge, smudge along like that. Okay. So it's helping our comedians look a little bit more rounded. Okay. So we'll add a bit of shading into his stripes now, and this will help us to get it looking a bit more 3D as well. So I'm going to make my stripes quite dark and along the bottom half of my stripe. So when I'm shading my stripes, I'm going up and down with my pencil. So I'm not going across because that sometimes makes your coloring go out of the lines a little bit. So I'm going up my chameleon. I'm pressing quite hard until I get to about halfway up. So we'll do all of them like this just to start with. So I'm not colouring in the legs. So 
up about halfway pressing quite hard and then at the top I'm pressing lightly so I'm getting a light gray okay so lightly and we're getting a light gray at the top and then I'm going to use my smudging finger to smudge 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 and try and blend that dark and that light together a little bit okay so again helps our chameleon just to look a little bit more cylindrical shapes a little bit rounder okay so we can do that with all our stripes again so pressing quite hard and then lightly at the top you can hear my pencil scribbling away so dark and then light at the top work all the way around and I'm going quite quickly everybody so you just work at your own pace take your time and relax and enjoy it yeah and you can stop and start the video so you can just do little bits at a time and then have a break if you wanted to and work it a bit more slowly or you might want to work quicker there we go so all the way around get those stripes in and that helps our tail just to pop out a little bit more as well Okay, so he's standing out now, our chameleon, isn't he? And then you can decide if you want to shade in the spikes on the top of his body. So you could do that a light grey by pressing lightly, or you could do a, a dark grey by pressing hard. So all the way around. And then his legs, we're going to do a little bit of shading. So a little bit like we've done with his body, the bottom bit of his leg and pressing quite hard to that bottom edge and then the top edge I'm pressing lightly to get so we've got dark at the bottom and then light at the top and you can do this with pencil crayons as well so if you have got pencil crayons at home and you wanted to add colour to it, you can do exactly the same, pressing hard and pressing lightly to get light and dark shades with your pencil crayons. And the other thing we can do, if you want to, as an option, you can add some patterns into your chameleon. So if you wanted to add some little circles in some of these sections, you can add more details as you go along. Or you could do little triangles or rectangles and fill in some of the stripes with some lovely patterns um, and again you can shade those in as well so you can really extend this activity and um, add lots more details if you wanted to um, but before we finish I just wanted to add a few more little details we forgot to give him a curly tongue so you can add a little tongue if you wanted to and then on the branch again with some shading on the branch we want to get the same effect as we have with our chameleon so again you would shade and I'm going to do this super quickly so my lines are quite scribbly which is fine because it We've got texture in wood, haven't we? So your lines could make it look a little bit more like a piece of wood. So I'm going to shade the bottom half of my wood. Okay, and make it dark. And then the top half lightly. And again, that helps your wood to look a bit more realistic. Doing big lines. 
and you can add some little lines down it if you wanted to. So add a little bit more detail. You could also add some leaves as well. So if you wanted to add some leaves, we just do a little line and then two curved lines, your middle line and then some little veins coming off it. So if you wanted to add some leaves, you can add your lovely leaves. And also you could think about what you want in your sky. So you could put some little butterflies or some little dragonflies. So if you wanted to do a butterfly, just do a simple long sort of sausage shape, isn't it, our butterflies? And then a big curve for our wings on both sides. And then another one underneath. And then again, you could decorate and shade your butterfly using your light and dark tones. Okay. So experiments with pressing hard and lightly, um, use your dark and light to create your lovely 3D shapes. And also think about what patterns you can use for your lovely chameleon. But I think we have finished. I think that is one finished, lovely, beautifully shaded chameleon.